Today we are going to process and e-file 94X tax returns for clients for whom you have done their payroll. Before viewing this tutorial, you should watch Setting Up 94X e-filing in Drake Accounting. Process all payrolls for the period being reported. To generate the 94X transmission file to be e-filed to the IRS, you must first create the 94X tax return. Highlight the client on the Client Selector screen, then go to Employees, Federal Forms. Drake Accounting defaults to Forms 94X for the form type. Select the 94X form from the Form drop list. For today's tutorial, we are going to focus on the 941. Next, choose the source, either the tax deposit or payroll. Choosing tax deposits as the source means that Drake Accounting generates the return with the tax deposit information you entered under Employees Tax Deposit. Choose this option only if you calculated your client's tax deposit information for the entire period covered by the return. Choosing payroll as the source means that Drake Accounting generates the return with the payroll information you entered for the period covered by the return, whether you process live payroll or ATF payroll for your client. Last, if you processed a 941, choose the quarter for the return. Under Print Options, there is an option to force Drake Accounting to print Schedule B if the return is less than 2,500. This is for semi-weekly depositors. If you are transmitting as an ERO, you can select to use Form 8453 EMP in addition to Form 8879. Form 8974 is an optional form available for all filers. In Drake Accounting 2021, there are additional worksheets produced related to the sick and family medical leave wages and the employee retention credits. If needed, Form 7200 is located under On-the-Fly Federal Forms. Select Forms 94X from the Form Type drop list and then Form 7200 from the Form drop list. Choose the appropriate quarter and complete the form. There are both calculated and non-calculated fields on the return. Drake Accounting allows you to override calculated data. The calculated or grayed out fields become active when you select this option. Use this feature with caution and remember if you adjust one field, you need to calculate all other fields affected by that change. The Client 94X file information populates from the Client Setup information and the Firm eFile Setup information populates from Firm Information Setup. Tab through the pages to review this information. After all the data has been reviewed, click Save. Now that we have created the 94X return, it is time to e-file it. Go to e-filings, 94X, Transmit 94X Forms, select Form. Select the return, click the View Details button to view the contents of the transmission file. To delete a return before transmitting it, click Delete. Click the Transmit button to e-file the selected return to the IRS. The Axe screen button takes you directly to the Acknowledgement screen or to e-filings 94X View Results. For more information, visit accounting.drakesoftware.com.